And this is a little trick I wanted to share with you in the latest version of the Photoshop beta. This came out square, much like this image here. So if I go and save this out or just copy it, then I can show you how Photoshop can literally extend that. This is a new beta feature in Photoshop. It's really, really cool. Let me go and show you how to, how to do that. So I'm going to make a new document, just a the square dimensions and I'll paste the image in that I want to extend. And I'm thinking, hey, if I want to turn this into a YouTube thumbnail, then that really needs to be kind of 16 by 9. Maybe I want to make it portrait and I need some more trees at the top and Photoshop Beta can make that happen. I'm going to go and grab my background layer and delete it. I'll leave this layer as the only thing that is available. And then I'll switch over here to my crop tool. And you think, well, cropping isn't that to make images smaller? And that's kind of correct. But in Photoshop, it's also about extending the outer areas of the image. So if I go and switch to that, I can go and then left click and drag this out. Or if I hold down Alt, then I can extend it into both directions. And if I wanted to make it really landscape and cinematic, I could do something like this. And then I just let go and then, you know, Photoshop adds these, these transparent bits and pieces on the left and the right. But lo and behold, we still have our generative text box into which I could now type what I want there to appear, like whatever, motorway or, you know, monsters in the forest. Or I could do nothing and just click generate. And that's kind of the whole magic behind it. It goes and thinks about it for a moment and then it literally goes and looks at the image content and turns the left and right, turns all the transparent bits and pieces into stuff that would seamlessly integrate with that. So this is this is this is very crazy because when I saw that for the first time, you think, I'm sorry, what? You did what there? And uh, yeah, so that's <laughs> That works. I have no idea what it actually looks at. And sometimes it doesn't exactly get it right, but usually the, the blended in pieces, they look they look pretty cool. So it's done it's done a soft blend here and it still utilizes the underlying image. So that kind of blends in seamlessly with that. And I it's it's kind of fascinating when you see this working. And it's just, you know, I can't get enough of it. Uh yeah, so that is <laughs> You can do that. So now I can go back to my uh, crop tool here and say, well, if I didn't want for this tree to be in there, I can go and make it smaller like this. And then, you know, you've got your, you've got the image that you've, that you've always wanted. And there we go. And that's kind of the, that would now be closer to the YouTube thumbnail that I probably want. Isn't that amazing? It's just so, so cool. And you can do that with any kind of image. It's very <laughs>